know, at some point, Q Day is going to come, and it's going to be um, something that we need to deal with. There's enough academic resources out there, uh, and enough experimentation and work that has happened in labs to convince you that, you know, once this becomes mainstream, it could be a problem. And what is important: the governmental side, private industry, academia to work together to, you know, build a path to how to deal with this. There's a lot of um, focus on Q Day on the negative side of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think Q Day will also bring a lot of positive side of things, mm. right? How are we going to take advantage of this technology? We yeah. could give you an example of an experiment that we're doing um, at the moment around fraud transaction surveillance mm. and all that. Obviously, it's not on quantum; it's simulated. But we started hitting limitations um, in terms of the number of qubits. Uh, we had about 28 qubits available for this. It kind of got stuck, and yeah, then we yeah. were like, mm. okay, you know, if we extrapolate this, we yeah. need 300. Mm. That's Still a long way to go long, to be yeah, able to, to do that. We're on the learning path on, on quantum. If you don't do it, you're going to get left behind.